what a special day for Kitty and me. I was having the best dream about her when... Helen, wake up, dear. It's time to get up. A pet show. Today's a pet show. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Mommy, have you seen kitty? No, I haven't. Well, I might have known. Come on, Sleepy. You're going to school with me today. You're going to be in a pet show. If you look clean and healthy, you might win a prize. Now, Kitty, stay right there. We're going to have fun washing together. That's a good, Kitty. First your face, and be sure to get in all the corners. See how much soap I use on my washcloth? Plenty of it. Now watch me. Good girl. Now your neck and chest. Make that spot fluffy and white. That's good. Get as far around back as you can. Oh, you want to watch me, do you? All right, I'll show you. Back and chest and back. And ears, first one, then the other. Come on now, you can't just sit there. You're the one who's going to be in the pet show today. Don't forget those dirty paws. That's a good kitty. I'm going to be proud of you today. Grip them hard. Paws get dirtiest of all, don't they? I do have to do more scrubbing on my hands than anything else. This is the way I wash my hands, wash my hands, wash my hands. And this is the way I wash my arms early every morning. Yes, this is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms. Arms would be so much easier to wash if they didn't go all the way up to the shoulders. Now go ahead and do your other two paws while I brush my teeth. I use plenty of paste. And I wet my brush. Then up and down, down and up, up and down is a way to brush. Then rinse my mouth. That's what I do. Rinse my brush. That's what I do. Then I rinse the glass. And I'm all through. Now, let's have a look at your teeth. Kitty, you're so lucky. Did you see how much brushing I have to do to keep my teeth clean? It takes a lot of brushing to keep my hair shiny, too. I brush and brush my hair many strokes every day. And Mother washes my hair every week so it will be shiny and strong just like Kitty's. I have to comb my hair many times during the day to keep it looking neat. Sometimes I wish I were a cat so I wouldn't have to do so much 
brushing and combing. Kitty is waiting for her breakfast. I know she's hungry, so I dress myself in a hurry. While Mother puts my breakfast on the table, I give Kitty hers. She gets liver. And a big pan of milk. I start my breakfast with a big glass of fruit juice. A bowl of cereal and a glass of milk. Mother says that meat makes Kitty big and strong. By the way she likes to eat, you'd think she'd be the size of a house. It's all the milk she drinks that makes her bones and teeth so strong. When I finish my cereal, I have a piece of buttered toast and drink my milk. Of course, I eat more than Kitty, but then I'm bigger than she is. Kitty always cleans up her dishes right to the bottom. Like all cats, Kitty's neat. She wipes her mouth when she's finished eating. Kitty and I do many things alike. Mother lets me take my own dishes off the table. I put them in the kitchen. And then Kitty and I are ready for school. In you go. That's right. Helen's going to take you to school in your carrier so you'll be neat and clean. You're such a lovely kitty. I know all the children will like you. Let's button up today, dear. It's windy out. Bye, Mommy. Hope kitty wins. So do I. The other boys and girls brought their pets, too. It was hard to decide who would win the prize. Nancy had a canary bird. I thought it would win. Yellow is such a pretty color. We all wanted a canary to sing, but it wouldn't. I guess it was too excited. Finally, it was Kitty's turn. The minute they saw Kitty, all the children liked her. face and her white spots and her paws and everything was so shiny and scrubbed so clean. Everybody wanted to pet her. And healthy looking, well, she certainly eats enough good food to be healthy. I was so proud when Kitty won the prize.